Mario Kart 8 Deluxe recently got its DLC after already being out for 5 years, almost 10 if you count the original Mario Kart 8. Now while I think this is an interesting decision that doesn't make a lot of sense, but you know what, whatever. Tracks themselves were, um, mediocre, but you know, there's fun to be had. And I'd like to predict the next tracks coming up. Yes, I know there have been leaks for the tracks already, but I'm just not going to look at those and just kinda go with my gut and whatever I think will be there. Further ado, let's jump into it. First cup we're starting off with is the Apple Cup. This cup, I think we should start with Dry Dry Ruins. This is one of the best desert tracks in all of Mario Kart. Honestly, it's a lot of fun. Hasn't been ported to tour yet, but it could be fun to just tricks here, right? With the hang glider and stuff. One of the best parts of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe booster pack is the new shortcuts that they've added into this game. They add so much variety and I love love replayability in my mario kart tracks sunset wilds it fits the vibe of the game and i love the aspect of it changing to nighttime throughout the course maybe you could change some other aspects of the course but that's up to the game developers not me i think it's just a really really pretty course and i think gba tracks especially get really like I've gotten like lower side of the uh, mario kart love berlin byways is, is just a course that's kind of got to be there for some reason when i searched this track up it only brought up berlin byways 2 not berlin byways 1 uh either way i just like to see this track in fact i'm gonna put all the tour tracks on here at some point this is the only one that i didn't really know where to put right it's a fun la it, it's a fun track from the looks of it now, I personally have not played Mario Kart Tour in, like, two years, but the music's banging, and the track looks fun. I love how there's different versions of the tracks in these games in Mario Kart Tour, so we could have altered versions of this to see all different aspects of Berlin, I guess. I mean, we could also just go there and drive race cars, but whatever. I'd like to see the Shy Guy Bazaar from Mario Kart 7. Now, Mario Kart 7 has some good tracks, and especially Shy Guy Bazaar, it feels like it could, it just works so well for the vibe of this, okay? You've got this nighttime feeling one, and it's an original idea, and it was already in tour, in fact, it was one of the first ones in tour. While I would like to see a more HD version of it, rather than just the tour port, Either way, this one is a fun track that is like really underrated in my opinion, and it's just a lot of fun to drive. While it can be kind of linear at times, with some they could add. A, while it can be seen as linear at sometimes, there are a few aspects that I believe they could change to make it more fun to drive. That being said, that's the Apple Cup, the Boomerang Flower Cup. Now this one is a little different. Okay. This one I think should start with Mushroom Bridge from, from Double Dash. Mushroom Bridge is a really fun track and there's a lot of shortcuts in this one that just weren't in the DS version of it and I would just love to see this one with a whole new makeover, right? They seem to be going less for the anti-gravity and more just for the hang gliding in the underwater sections. We need some hang gliding sections in this track. They would work really well, especially with that hill up above the mushroom area, and even on the mushroom bridge itself. I want to see more of the shortcuts too, like that pipe one in the original that I don't think was in the DS one, correct me if I'm wrong, but that was like my favorite part of the GameCube tracks, is discovering all of the secrets and crazy wacky shortcuts. Next up, we've got Koopa Cape, okay? Koopa Cape is just a fun track, okay? Like, we just need some Koopa Cape. Mario Kart 7 version is good enough, and I don't know what else you could change to make it just better, but honestly, just port the track as is. It's a fun track with great music, and I just want to see Koopa Cape, my beloved. Lakeside slash Riverside Park. Now, these are another Super Circuit tracks, and I say tracks because they're two separate tracks, and they have the same, like, vibe, just slightly different music tracks. And I don't know which one would work better, but like, I like the vibe, right? It's got a jungly sort of thing while still being somewhat composed with the greens. And I would just want to see a modern rendition of more of these GBA tracks. Maybe, maybe we could see something more modernized like the Donut Plains for Mario Kart 8, or 
we're just gonna see something like the basic vanilla lake tracks from Mario Kart Tour. Either way, I think we need some more GBA love up in here. London Loop. Now, this one is just a fun time. While I'm personally not a big fan of the music track that plays in this one, it's still a fun track. This was one of the few ones that I did play when I did play Mario Kart Tour. And they worked well. This is another tour track that I'm just kind of crossing off the list. While it's not the most memorable in my eyes, I still think it needs to be here because tour tracks are just gonna one day go extinct like all of the other Nintendo mobile games, whether you like it or not. So they better all be in Mario Kart 8. Now on to the next one. Now these next two cups are gonna have very similar themings. I'm assuming this one is going to come out during winter time. I'm gonna tell you the themes I have for this one. These are all ice themes. So the turnip cup and the propeller mushroom cup are both going to be ice themed. Vanilla Lake. This is an SNES track that I think needs to be in. I know a lot of SNES tracks are sort of boring and they're not gonna be changed because Nintendo sucks and they haven't really done changes to the SNES tracks in Mario Kart Tour, but if they really wanted to go the extra mile, Vanilla Lake does have holes in the ground where you can go underwater, and you know what has underwater mechanics? Oh, that's right, Mario Kart 7, 8, and Tour. So let's see some of that. Vanilla Lake is just one of the few missing SNES tracks I'd like to see. Merry Mountain is a Mario Kart Tour track that um, looks beautiful, first of all. Second of all, it's a Christmas themed track, and I would just love to see this track in the video game, you know, like the video game that everyone plays, like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This could be the return of the halfpipe. That's what I'm most curious about. I want to see if they're going to really bring back the halfpipe. I know I sort of missed that out on Koopa Cake. Are they going to bring back the halfpipe or not? Because that's a really big deal if they do. And if they don't, damn, Nintendo, you suck. Well, either way, you suck, but you know, you get my point. Prepa Snowland from Mario 64. This one is just a good ice track. Mario Kart 64 just has some good snow stages, and I would like to see them. While this one isn't terribly interesting, it's just a nice track to drive through. Maybe with a few more modern updates, it could be a lot of fun to drive around. Finally, we got Rosalina's Ice World. Now, this one is a very weird one in my eyes. It's such a bizarre track, and it's like Mario Galaxy at all, right? I feel like Rosalina is the only character that's really been like from the mainline Mario games, right? And I understand, right? In Mario Kart Tour, there's characters like Pauline and with the New York Minute and stuff, but Rosalina's Ice World is just very bizarre, but it would be nice to have this track in the game. It would be the little bit of galaxy representation needed, and it's a beautiful track with a great tra soundtrack. That being said, let's go on to the Propeller Cup. Propeller Mushroom Cup is gonna be an interesting one. This is another snow-themed cup. So first off, we've got Snowland. Snowland is a track from the GBA version. Again, I know, a lot of GBA tracks, but I just think GBA needs more representation. There's barely any in any of the Mario Kart games until around the Mario Kart 8 DLC, which is sad if you ask me. We need more Mario Kart Super Circuit representation. That being said, it's a simple snow track, and while it would fit the winter theme, it is sort of basic, and I understand why it's probably not going to be there. This is like the most obscure pick out there, I swear. DK Summit. DK Summit is one we have to see, okay? Or DK Snowboarding Cross, if you're British. DK Summit or DK Snowboard Cross, depending on where you're from. This is a track we need to see, okay? Mario Kart Wii has some good tracks, and this is one of the greatest ones. And it would really push if Mario Kart 8 can really do what Mario Kart Wii did. I would love to see half pipes, how they do half of these areas, because it's not the same. But I really, really do want to see this track. It is so beautiful and I'd love to see it actually HD and stuff. Sherbert Land from Mario <laughs> Sherbert Land from Super Mario 60. Sherbert Land from Mario Kart 64 is another good ice track. While I feel like it it's just sort of basic, you know, it could be fun to see in the game. Vancouver Velocity. This is probably my favorite Mario Kart Tour OST. This one ha probably has my favorite song in any of the Mario Kart Tour tracks. I And it's just a beautiful track in general. And I didn't even know there were multiple versions. I had just seen the one. But seeing all of these multiple versions, I would love, love to see this in Mario Kart. This is almost a guarantee of being there because, you know, it's Vancouver Velocity, in a, it's a Mario Kart Tour track. I'm pretty sure all the Mario Kart Tour tracks are being ported over. And it'd be fun to play, because I've never really played it before. 
that being said, that's the Propeller Cup. Let's move on. Super Feather Cup. Starting on the, off with the Super Feather Cup, we've got Daisy Cruiser. Now, this is another good GameCube one. And honestly, Double Dash just has banger after banger of tracks, and Daisy Cruiser has got to be there. I love the Mario Kart 7 version where you could go in the pool. And honestly, I just think this is a very fun track. And with a few visual updates and maybe changing around how that table section works, this could just be a fun track to play on. Second up, we've got Daisy Circuit. This one is a little basic, I'll be, I'll admit it, but I really just like the aesthetic of this track. I love the little Daisy and Luigi dancing in the little lobby, and it's got one of my favorite Mario Kart songs in any of the games. I would just love to see it. It's one of my personal favorites. Maybe I'm just nostalgia based because Mario Kart Wii is one of the best Mario Karts. Moving on, we've got another good Mario Kart Wii track. It's Maple Treeway. Okay, Maple Treeway is going to be there no matter what. And they're going to butcher it no matter what. Look, they're bringing over the tour version. And I hope they retain the same shortcuts from Mario Kart Wii. But it, that jump rope area at the end, it's going to turn into a glider section no matter whether you like it or not. A lot of the fun physics are going to be lost, but I still hope they keep some of the challenge that was that tree area where you take that sharp turn and you always fall off for some reason. Maybe I just suck. Last track is Rock Rock Mountain from Mario Kart 7. This one is a weird choice, but I really do enjoy the aesthetic of this one, and I understand it's no one's favorite track, I just really like the nature sort of feeling tracks while still being a track. This track could add a few fun things, and I'm pretty sure it was already in Mario Kart Tour, so it's got a very good chance of being in this new one. But it is a good track, and a lot of Mario Kart 7 tracks are severely underrated, mostly just because, you know. Anyway, while I don't have a lot to say about the Feather Cup, I feel like that one would be one of my favorites, personally. The Double Cherry, starting off with Los Angeles Laps. This one is weird track. The song is unlike any other Mario Kart track. Like, listen to this for just a second. Like, what is this funky groove? It is so bizarre, and I love it. It's a fun track, and I've seen it before. It's got this sunsetty sort of vibe. And I just like to see it in game, honestly. It is a base track. Next up, we've got New York Minute. New York Minute is the first Mario Kart Tour track, and it was the first new Mario Kart track in a long time when it first came out. And it was it's a fun track. I'll be honest, doing if they're doing what they did with Paris Promenade and Tokyo Blur, it'll be fun to see how they change up the course for each lap while still having it have the same layout. Next up, Moonview Highway. This one is an infamous one because of the cars, and I know they're gonna dial it down, but the cars are the best part. You don't love getting hit a million times? Well, damn, that's the far. That's the chaos of this song. If you listen to the Moonview Highway track, it's just very, like, you're in a bustling city, and I love the vibe of the big city. You start off in the night highway with the giant moon, and it's just beautiful. And there's all these shortcuts and all these things to do, and then you get in the big city, and there's lots of roads and cars just everywhere, and then you're back into the area. It's just a fun track that tells a story. Finally, we've got Mushroom City. This one is just a fun time. I'll be honest, I love a lot of the GameCube tracks, and I just love to see them. Mushroom City was always a very interesting one to me when I was younger. I always thought it was like a huge maze, even though there's the mini-map right there. I just thought, ooh, there's a million different ways to go. Genuinely, probably one of my favorite Mario Kart tracks because of that. The idea that there was multiple routes because you're just driving through a city was so cool. If they expanded it a little, sort of like Yoshi's Raceway, except city-themed, it would be so good. But they're not going to do that if they did put this one in, and I hope they do, because it's one of my favorites. That's a double cherry cup. Let's move on. The Rock Mushroom Cup, Singapore Speedway. Now, uh, this is another tour track that I have not played, but it's going to be in here, and I didn't know where else to put it, so here you go. Singapore fans, rejoice. Hopefully I'm correct, and I guarantee you, this Singapore is going to be in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Wario's Shipyard. Okay, this is one of my favorite Mario Kart 7 tracks, and it is severely underrated, and I want it in this game. Please, 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 please. All I want 
is Wario's Shipyard. Is that too much to ask? It hasn't been remade, and I understand there's only been one other Mario Kart game, but we are not getting another one until like 2067, and I'm going to be dead by then. Hopefully not, but you know what, you get my point. Wario Shipyard is just a very interesting track, and it's got a, these cool aesthetics. It would work very well in the Mario Kart 8 engine, and the fact that most of it takes place underwater. We do not have enough underwater tracks in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, honestly. There's a few, but... We need more. Waluigi Pinball. Okay, this one is a guarantee. Like, I feel like it's just, like, obligated to be there. Well, personally, okay, don't hate me for this. Waluigi Pinball is not the best track, I'll be honest. After further inspection, the best part is just that pinball section. Everything else is just a straight line. Like... Let's be real, there's one metal ball that chases you for like half of the course and then you're in the pinball section for like two seconds. If the pinball section was longer, that would be a lot better, but instead you're just on the most dull colored raceway with no shortcuts, nothing at all. Just like a straight line, some curvy lines with a metal ball chasing you. It's not great, but it's gonna be there, right? It's Waluigi Pinball. It, it was gaslit into being one of the most iconic Mario Kart tracks of all time. Wario's Coliseum is another GameCube track I wanna see. Okay, okay, I swear this is one of the last ones, but Wario's Coliseum is just such a cool track. Honestly, it's a little lengthy, and they could probably do the thing they did with N64 Rainbow Road, where instead of laps, they have sections, and they expand it a little. But I would love to see this track. It is goofy. It is wacky. Let's move on to the Moon Cup. The Power Moon Cup better add Mario Odyssey tracks. I know it won't, but come on, come on. It's a Moon Cup, and there's no Mario Odyssey representation in Mario Kart. Aside from that, here are the retro tracks that I'd want in Mario. The Power Moon Cup. Peach Beach. This... Okay, I swear... <laughs> I'm just like, this is another great GameCube track, yes, because all of the GameCube tracks are just so freaking good, okay? This was a one that is a lot of fun to play, and with a few more shortcuts and just, like, glider ramps or something, it's always just a fun time, and those and those catacquacks will not ruin my day. I love this one. Woohoo Island slash Loo. I know there's two of them, but one of them would suffice. Woohoo place in Nintendo that has been sorely forgotten, and seeing it upgrade in Mario Kart 8 would be one of the coolest things. I would love to see Woohoo Island or Woohoo Loo. Or maybe they do the thing like in Paris Prom made and they make both of them in the same one. Anyway, moving on. Luigi's Mansion, Mario Kart 7. This is one that I actually thought was in Mario Kart 8, but I was just thinking of the battle stage. I like this stage. It's simple, it's fun, it's got a nice vibe to it, a lot to enjoy from it, and it needs to be in Mario Kart 8, let's be real. Next up, Toad's Factory. I like Toad's Factory, and it's just a fun track. Uh, there's not a lot to say about this one. It's very unique, and I would love to see more of the glider mechanics and just more Mario Kart 7 slash 8 slash tour stuff in this track specifically. Make this track more intense. It's just a good one and I love the theme of it. it just needs more attention. Let's move on to the Acorn Cup. The Super Acorn Cup. This one is, this one, I'm gonna start with Mushroom Gorge. Big Mushroom Gorge guy. I would love to see Mushroom Gorge. Mushroom Gorge is just a good stage and seeing it in super pretty HD or whatever, I don't even know. I just like Mushroom Gorge, okay? Maybe I'm just nostalgia biased, but having Mushroom Gorge in this game would be a lot of cool memories returning, I guess, I don't know. I just wanna see Mushroom Gorge again. My child. DK Jungle Parkway. This was one that was in Mario Kart Wii and we haven't seen since, but I really love the sort of Bayou vibe and maybe seeing it in like a new HD setting could be fun. And maybe you could add more tricks, more stuff to do. There's a lot of potential with this one that just needs to be explored. It's probably not likely. This is no one's favorite track, let's be real. It's got a lot of straightaways and just it, that one section at the end is very weirdly made. Dino Dino Jungle. Dino Dino Jungle is going to be there. I almost 
can guarantee it. It was one of the original Mario Kart Tour tracks, and Dino Dino Jungle is a good track. I don't know what else to tell you. We just need Dino Dino Jungle, my beloved. I know, more GameCube tracks, but GameCube just had bacon tracks. Same with Wii. The thing is, Dino Dino Jungle... I don't know, I just want to see Dino Dino. <laughs> Dino Dino Jungle. And I want to see the blue dinosaur, even cooler. Finally, DK Mountain. DK Mountain is another Mario Kart GameCube ported over to Mario Kart Wii track. I'd love to see this one remade, with more glider ramps, especially in that mountainous section. It's a fun track, it's just it's very not built around the Mario Kart 8 engine. That being said, there's the Acorn Cup. And just like that, we are finally at the final cup, the Spiny Cup, or Blue Shell Cup, or whatever. This one is a tough one, alright, because I've had a few ideas. All Rainbow Roads. It would be interesting to see what all Rainbow Roads would look like, though I highly doubt it's going to happen. All Bowser Castles. Another thing I'd like to see, though, once again, highly unlikely to happen. So, I was thinking sort of a special cup theme. We start with Airship Fortress from DS. This one is a very fun track, and it's got that intense vibe. It's just fun. And without the restrictions of Mario Kart Tour, this one would be a lot of fun to do some nasty shortcuts on. Next up, we've got Bowser's Castle. I know, I know, we're going a little fast for the regular special cup, but you'll see why. Now, I don't know which Bowser's Castle. That's the problem. All of them have their own merits to them. And I don't know how you would do it. Because there, there's so many good Bowser's Castles. From N64, Mario Kart 7, all of them are just really solid. Though, I think you'd want to go with one of the ones that doesn't have the giant Bowser in the middle. For some reason, that was a trend, and I have no idea why that just kept being a thing into Mario Kart 8. Bowser's Castle needs a second. Then we put two Rainbow Roads. Mario Kart Wii's Rainbow Road is the most difficult Rainbow Road in any of the games. And it is beautiful, it is fun, it's got the best song in any of the Mario Kart games. But Mario Kart 7's is more dramatic and I was like well I can't just choose one so put them both in Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Roads are possibly the best Rainbow Roads and I would love to see them they are beautiful and put them in HD like not the stupid tour HD I want to see them shining like Mario Kart 8 style with the brand new sky boxes or something now that being said the blue shell cup is supposed to be the hardest one so Maybe there are harder tracks I'm not thinking of. And aside from that, that's about it. That's all of the tracks here. And that means I've told you what I think. I may have missed a few tour tracks or whatever. I was just going off whatever sounded cool. And I probably missed a few cool ones that I just like, didn't even think of. Because there are a bajillion Mario Kart tracks. And it even proves that 48 more is not going to even put all of them in. Which is ridiculous, we are at 96 tracks now, what the heck? We'll be at 96 tracks. Maybe I'll be right, some of them will be wrong. See you in like two years to correct myself. 